It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Two slam dunk champs, Grant Hill and Brent Berry, are analysts tonight. Brian Anderson here. We'll hear from Allie LaForce as well. Now the starting group for the visitors. A lot of power on display in the front court tonight in our matchup. Brent should be exciting to watch. Yeah, it may not be about the outside shooting in this one either. These teams like to involve that front court and catch the defense while they're napping. defender isn't fighting over the screen and the coach over there just asking for one simple thing and that's some effort got burned on that one I love great defense just quick to establish his feet and he takes the hit Just five on the clock. Fade away. And it's going to be a 24-second violation. They turn it over. And just about a minute into this first quarter. It off. This guy is putting on a clinic for the people. Yeah, I'm shocked. I can't believe he pulled that off in a real game. at five. Blocked! And that goes out of bounds. Now keep possession! A little over a minute and a half into this first quarter. Number seven. First personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for the away team. Number nine. At the line for two. Free throw is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. to the inside deflected first quarter just about two minutes in six on the shot clock down low there's the steal That would have put him up. 
so disruptive defensively out beyond the arc. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. And he's in the books. Now one for two. This dude is capable of some memorable moves. He's showing off and having a little fun. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. To the wing on the left. It's deflected. And he's able to get it back. Goes back up. Jump shot is good. Gone just two for four from the floor. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. First team foul. At the line for your home team, number four. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And so he hits both. Gone three of six from the floor. And one thing I've learned through the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Uses the glass on the layup. Six points for him. The size advantage gives him a clear path to the shot. Clock at six. Is it another miss? He's 0 for 2 now. Gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Blocked. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. 4-3. Sinks that one after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. Opportunistic basketball. Gets a great look at the three in transition. Side fadeaway. Well, the defense was right up on him, so electing to go for the fadeaway there to create some room. Well, that makes sense. Fires from 14. That shot, no good. Shooting 44% to start this ball game. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Gone one for three from beyond the arc. From deep three-point land. Another missed shot. He's one of five. Looking shaky out there.
got a piece of it. The shot is good, and this game is back to even. He's got six. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Fans, make some noise for your fans. gotten five of 11 shots to go to the left wing six to shoot his first shot coming late first shot won't go gone two of five from deep Flex the pass. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. Great job of closing the space and getting a hand up. Yeah, as good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. Elbow shot. And he makes it. Tough for a defender to challenge the shot when the height differential is so pronounced. Boy, he overdid it there. Too much force on the foul, and he's called for the flagrant one. You know, it's just hard to watch a player put the well-being of an opponent at risk. He rightfully earned that flagrant. Yeah, the officials are all over that one, sending a clear message that that kind of roughness is unacceptable. And that one misses. Good on the second one. so far in this one. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Four on the clock. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. Negates the tight defense with the fadeaway. Slick move and a nice touch on the shot. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly, that was their game plan coming in. A minute and a half left in the first. Falls back and drains a fadeaway J. Interesting choice going for the fadeaway. An unnecessary flourish in that case. Puts it up from 17. And he buries that one. Back rim it in. Already five lead changes here. Speaks to how evenly matched these teams have been thus far. To the wing, right side. Knocked away. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. And the ball ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Forty-three seconds left in the first quarter. Five on the clock. Drains the triple. Number 11. Got eight of 15 shots to go. 
Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. At the line for the away team, number nine. Makes it first. So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. Gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. To the left side wing. On target from range. Number six. Blocked. And that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. possession. Into the lineup for your home team. Number Three off the inbound. Doesn't go for him. So disruptive defensively out beyond the arc. Yeah, you gotta like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. And that concludes the first quarter of play. They lead by six. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. We played through one quarter in this one. And from what we've seen here from the home team, what's your take so far? It's simple. When you can protect the rim the way they have, it's a big advantage. Yeah, you can't be careless with your shot selection out there because some of them are getting thrown back. And Grant, some players feel like certain officials have it out for them. Did you ever see any of that? You know what, B.A., the refs are human, too. Yes, I did say that. <laughs> but they're supposed to be impartial. So you go after them for a while, it's possible they will hold a grudge. Five to shoot. Sends it home from three-point land. Six points for him. The D is there, but not present enough. You can't just be there. You got to disrupt and get in the face of the shooter. to the wing in transition here they come a chance to extend the lead to double digits but it's no good hey, hey. quarter number two and about a minute in the shot inside and the basket good a bank shot that time can't teach size he's able to shoot it right over the top With the drive, and he knocks it down. He's three of five now from the floor. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. Now approaching two minutes of action here in the second. Another shot, and he lays it in. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Shot clock at six. Over to the wing. Shoots from 12. That's good on the jumper. Assisted. Number seven. Got two of three shots to go in the second. The quick look, no good that time. Gone five of ten from beyond the three-point line in this game. 
And here in the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes played. Six on the shot clock. Takes the three. And he can't sink that one. He's two for four in the contest. Three minutes of action thus far in the second. Misses the fadeaway. That's exactly how you want to see defense play. Got right up in his space to bother the shot. That's going to make any scorer uncomfortable when you get that aggressive. It's just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. percent of the game so far and a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter from 11 feet away whistle blows yep that's going to be a travel Ooh, talk about a way to deflate the team yeah he knows he shouldn't have made it and that's just really overall a frustrating sequence that hopefully doesn't stick with him takes a three no luck on that one. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Got a piece of it. this second quarter. To the middle. Stop the drought. There's the block. And he gets it back. Basket counts. Such a big part of what he does for this team. Just work and work on the boards. Generate second chance opportunities. And hopefully convert. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Hey, Brian, Commissioner Adam Silver maintains that he is not against shortening the regular season. He said, quote, the fact that teams are focused on load management, players are resting, it sends a message. And while he doesn't want to be tradition bound, guys, he said, whatever happens, they'd ensure every team visits every city at least once per season. That's an interesting point there from the commissioner. Number Thanks, seven. Allie. Yeah, that one's good. Good execution. They're getting some short range looks here. Down to five on the shot clock. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Away team ball. Off the break 
And I think that play tells you everything you need to know. They're simply playing at a higher level, getting a steal and turning it into quick points. the basket he was fouled and he's going to the line for one more at the line for the away team number nine one shot Seven of ten attempts to drop in the second quarter. And down it goes. Jam that one home. And this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, there's an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It was a strong move. The shot's just a little off. At the line for the away team. Number nine. Two shots. down the first one. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Gone. 8 of 11 in the second quarter. up a three and the three-pointer goes 17 points in the game it's just incredible I mean he's really making it rain out there knocking them down one after another kind of like he's in his living room right now he's found a comfort zone once he gets that the defense knows they're in trouble oh yeah that'll do it wow an emphatic two-handed slam inside and the shot's good. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now. Just gift wrapping points. Fades away. Doesn't go that time. You get a feeling that he made that much more difficult than he had to. No reason why he had to fade away on that jumper. Great job Something to establish down. position and square up. First personal foul, second team foul. Into the lineup for your home team, number 12. Gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. Two oh, that's his eighth make two. of the game. Two. He's only missed four so far. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. One forty-six left in the second. Tries from six feet. Second chance shot. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Number 14. And he drops the first.
and that's good as he hits both shots. There's a minute 40 left in the second period. To the paint. Count it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. Punching it inside, attacking the heart of that defense. I love it. Out left to the wing. It's tipped. They recover it. In transition, here they come. It's blocked. seconds left to play in the first half with the floater tipped stolen old team foul number 11 Second personal foul, third team foul. Coming onto the floor for your home team, number eight. Got a hand on it, and the ball ends up out of bounds. And they retain possession. by 14. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Shooting around 59%. They've been outstanding on the offensive end. Five to shoot. Two open that time. They didn't look easy. He's got 22. That's the guy they're going to keep going to as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding him. From seven feet. And the shot goes down. Now he's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's been on his game. It's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. It by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. 12 points for him. Guda got a respectable 49%. It's good from the top of the key. Well, here's the problem. He's shooting the lights out, but they're still behind. They need another guy to step up. Tipped away. Right around a minute and a half played in the third quarter. Right wing. Six to shoot. Fires it from 18. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. And now, your fans team. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. 
And looks Ooh, like an great. illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. to the right wing. Three-pointer, no good. Great job of closing the space and getting a hand up. Yeah, as good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. And the dunk to finish it off. Oh, beauty. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man, and he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. Out to the right wing. Number 10. And he can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. Gone four of four in this third quarter. Perfect so far. Good! Now seven for 11 on the night. We've gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Brian, on any given night, you can see NBA stars put up huge point totals. Clippers coach Ty Lue said, quote, when you have those big explosive scoring nights, guys are hitting the free throw line, and teams are encouraging them to take three-point shots. So if you get hot and you make some, you can score a lot of points. Brian? That all adds up, doesn't it, Ali? Thanks for that. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Yep, count it. 26 points for him. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. Number nine. The ball's knocked loose. And they're pushing it up. Shots blocked. Driving in. That one goes in. He's got 16. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. To the inside. And he lays it up and in. So far, he's a can't-miss player. A superb scorer who plays to his strength. To the middle. And rejected. Count that one. He's scoring at a nice clip. He's 6 of 9 tonight. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three point play. Shooting for the away team. 
Number nine at the line for one. shooting from the perimeter since halftime. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. one falls good on both gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half Can't get that one. One side is dominated tonight. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job of imposing their pace and style of play. Since half, there's been a stark contrast between these teams. I'm talking about efficiency at the offensive end. Well, this team did something in halftime, going from a mild-mannered, half-court executing team to some heroic shooting in the second half. Ooh, got him with the pump fake. Savvy move there. 16 points for him. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. Shot clock at five. From about 19. And he sinks out. Hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Gone eight of 13 in the second half. To the right side. And there's the rejection. Down low. That one's true. He's now 9 of 10. Now there's some easy offense there. Keep finding looks in that area, and their shooting percentages tonight are going to be off the charts. Here's the three. That one is off. So disruptive defensively out beyond the arc. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. And it's rejected. And they'll keep possession. That one's good from the corner. 26 points for him. Shooting about 53% on the third. A very good number. Two minutes. We've got 155 left in the third. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Shooting for the away team. Number nine at the line for one. A 
minute 53 left in the third quarter. Five on the clock. No good from the wing. Shooting around 50% in the game so far. One nineteen left in the third. Hey, from beyond the arc. They get it back. Tipped. Blocked again. And they're able to recover. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. It will be a re-jump. Clock at six. Puts it up. Shot is good. Off the back rim and in. Gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. 41 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. And that goes out of bounds. Ball and they'll keep ball. possession. Home team ball. For your home team, number six. A three from the inbound. He buries it from three. That's 29 for him. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Good. He's been great in this one. Nine for 15 after that shot. Gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Shot from 12. No good there. Six for 11 now from the floor. Oh, swiped away. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Up 19. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. You know, anytime a guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, great player movement can create an opportunity just like that. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Uneasy, uh, too, on the layup. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. Six feet away. Yes, it's good. He's been an absolute marksman the entire second half. Hard to imagine what anyone can do right now to slow him down. And he's going for the lob. Just flawless yes. timing right there. Number right? Nine. The dish, the catch, the flush, the whole thing was perfect. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Shot from the wing. Trained it for two points. Give him 31 now. Nice move to set up the jumper. <laughs> that was pretty. Inside. 
And that one goes. Feeding him with a lead pass. Now catching the lead pass at full speed. Terrific anticipation. And the delivery on time, on target. Over to the left wing. Oh, made it a tough look for him as the defense really pressed up on him. Soft Number touch five. off the glass. Assist and we may have an injury Number here. Nine. That does not look good. Yeah, that type of injury is always worrisome. Hopefully, he's okay. Yeah, it reminds you of what's really important. Health, number one. Everything else comes after that. Substitution for your home team. Number nine. Number six. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Lays it up and banks it in. Now he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. Count that bucket. Yeah, he's leading the charge for them, but let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. Six on the shot clock. Goes up from the top of the key. Can't get it to drop. Gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Count that Number one. Ten. As he's Number four. Got five of six shots to go in the fourth. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. And Number he comes six. up with a bucket. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. Shakes off strong. D and gets to the bucket for two points. The visitors with the ball. Trailing by 17. Shoots from 12. Jump shot is good that time. He's got 38. Excellent job of simply taking what the defense offered up. Time out, time out. Home team. Thanks, guys. The head coach of the home team had some words for his team over the break. And despite the lead, they are still coaching this team hard. In the huddle, they told their guys to stay alert. Do not give them anything easy. They want to protect this late lead, B.A. Appreciate the report, Allie. Five to shoot. Three-pointer. Counted from distance. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Oh, it's blocked! It deflects off the backboard! To the middle. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. The value of good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. Shoots it from the high post. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First personal foul, first team foul. Shooting for the away team. Number nine, taking two shots. Shooting two. First one at the line is good. And 
good on the second, so he makes them both. Gone seven of eight in this fourth quarter. Shot clock at six. And the three off target. Great job of closing the space and getting a hand up. Yeah, as good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. Hey, puts up a three. That shot off the mark. Going one of two from deep in this quarter to the left wing. from the line. Boy, he clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. 26 points for him. Yeah, there's really no defense for that one. Turnaround jumper on time, on target. All right, time for an injury report. And it looks like it's a severe ankle sprain. It's a serious injury, but they're hoping he's avoided any structural damage. Everything that I'm hearing points to this being a long-term issue. Obviously, he and the team are extremely frustrated right now. All right, that's good intel. We've definitely been thinking of him, and now we have some more clarity, guys. Yeah, they now have all the information they need in order to determine the next steps. Everybody wishing the best for him. We all know how badly he wants to be out there playing alongside his teammates and competing. Gone 8 of 11 from the field in the fourth. Fast break, here we go. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Free throw, no good. Just five on the clock. Offensive rebound. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. From the arc. That shot off. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. the block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. Off target with the three. Going 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. From deep. Nails it from beyond the arc. 43 points in the game. A tough matchup for the smaller defender there. Just shot right over the top without thinking twice. Over to the wing. Got a piece of it. There's 53 seconds left to play in the fourth. And the ball ends up out of bounds. Away team. And they'll ball. keep possession. for your home team. Number six. From 11 feet away. No good that time. 
They absolutely want to add to what's already a big lead. No question, B.A. No reason to let up. Just keep playing your game. And he can't stop the drought. Another miss. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Oh, got that one up quick. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots. Can't get it to fall. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave him a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy and saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. Alongside Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time.